contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a keyboard on an HP Envy M6-K022DX. I have determined that the keyboard is bad on this computer and I'm going to just show you how to obtain access to the keyboard and we'll replace it with a new one. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already kind of had this apart and diagnosed it. What we go ahead and do is just remove all of the screws that you see visible on the bottom of the laptop and then the base just pulls right off. Next very first thing you want to do is get rid of this battery. So we disconnect the battery ribbon cable here. Right, so once we remove this cable here that goes to the battery, there are three screws on the outside of the battery that you take off. I've already done that. And this battery simply lifts right out. So that takes care of the battery. Well, basically what we're going to have to do is remove all the components, including the motherboard, to get down to the keyboard. Uh, so connected to the board here is a daughter board that has the, I believe it's the card reader here, but there are three screws holding this in. We'll go ahead and take that off. And that, you then remove the card reader. Uh, we have the ribbon cable here going to the display. Pull the tape back on that. Pull that cable. We have another uh, cable here next to that which goes to the power button. We'll just remove that cable here. Done. Okay, we also have a couple of ribbon cables to get rid of here, which goes to a daughter board. We'll flip that lever up. Pull the ribbon cable. There's another ribbon cable here. We'll flip that up and pull that ribbon cable. So we have those aside. Yeah, we also have the uh, the uh, Wi-Fi card here, which I've disconnected the two um, the two antenna wires go into that, and we'll also we'll have to remove it from its trace here. Let's do that now. Comes out. Comes out. See if that's far enough out of the way to there. Here's the pesky keyboard cable here. Disconnect that. Touchpad cable here. We'll flip that up and pull that cable out. And it's there. I think that's a backlight. That comes out. All right, let's see. So then we have the actual power jack here. So we will remove the power jack from the board. Power jack is unplugged. Uh, we'll have to remove the power jack cabling from its, its trace. Okay, so this daughter board after looking at it here is on top of the keyboard casing so this is going to have to come off so in order to get this small daughter board out there is the casing that surrounds the RJ45 jack here the Ethernet jack and that is being supported by the the uh, metal of the hinge so we're going to have to remove the or at least flip this hinge up. I would probably say we just probably go ahead and remove the hinge all together and let's uh, see if we can just just remove the whole top the whole uh, top assembly. So let's just go ahead and remove these screws that will let us lift off the let us lift off the hinges screw there and there's another screw here yep. okay lift it up this one 
Okay, tough thing here, we're not going to be able to lift this hinge up simply because the hinge goes underneath the motherboard. So we at least needed to get this hinge lifted up to expose and give us room to get uh, these components off over here. We'll take this uh, Ethernet port out here. So it's just the cover here that goes to the Ethernet port. Okay, and that exposes the entire daughter board here that I was talking about. And this is where the speakers are also hooked up to. Okay, speakers disconnected from there. So we can just lift this out. And out comes the other daughter board there. So let's go ahead and start working on these motherboard screws. See how these are labeled. Still held down pretty tight. Take out our memory modules just to have a look. We are still being held down pretty good. Thinking maybe that these fan screws may have to come out here. Yep, that's what it is. Fan screw. Another screw here. Oh, my magnet caught it. How about that? Okay, we'll just unplug our fan here. Still, ah, uh, screw right here. I know what that is. I think that might be part of this other speaker. I think that's what that is. Oh, look at there. It is. I'm not even sure I'm going to even take that out. I'm going to leave that little wire right there. It's a very small connector that started to look like it wanted to come apart on me. So I'm going to stop there. Here's my other motherboard screw. Loose. There we go. Ah, we've got another, the, the SATA connector here to the hard drive goes under the board, um, I think. Uh, is that going to work? Yeah, I think I'll just disconnect the SATA instead of disconnecting it from the board. It'd be easier. And let's just see if we can lift this board. It's just caught on something that I can't see. Yeah, here it goes. Okay. So there we go. And you notice how I still have this small cable connected. I do not want to mess up that port. So I'm just going to take this. I don't want to smash up this connector trying to get it out. So I'm going to leave it. And I'm just going to take the board. And I'm going to flip it over. That's all I need to do to expose what I need to remove for the keyboard here. And it does look like I have to take out the speaker here. So that's what I'm going to do now. The speaker. Speakers out, power jack is out, and here's a looks like it's part of the hinge right here. Not so sure we have to we don't have to remove that power button. Yep, here's the power button. That's that can stay. No, I think that might be able to stay. No, we'll see. Okay. Let's just start removing these screws.
Okay, everyone, don't forget that right underneath here is another screw that's helping to hold the keyboard down. That one needs to come out. Label that guy black. Okay, uh, there's also, we're going to go ahead, this ribbon cable is pretty much attached to the keyboard. It's glued on there, basically. Um, I'd rather leave it on there, to be fair. So let's just disconnect this ribbon cable from the touchpad. We're going to go ahead and remove the hard drive. I'll try to get away without removing it, but we're going to go ahead and remove the hard drive. drive is out. I can see here there are two some tabs running underneath some clips here that needs to be cleared and I can also see there are two small clips tabs here that need to be cleared that are holding this keyboard in. Kind of insane. Look so what we're going to have to do here is a little hard to kind of show. The button board, the power button board here, we're going to have to take out too. I've got to lift up this hinge to help free up this keyboard housing. So we're going to go ahead and take off the button board. Okay. That screw out there. Let's just go ahead and remove the whole board and get it out of the way. I think we're going to have to raise this hinge. Now we got the hinge raised. If you guys saw how I did that, I had to put the screws back in it, raise the, the bottom to move that hinge, and then took the screws out. And I was able to now have access to where the screw was going down here on the casing of the keyboard. Wow. Okay, I'm still catching on something here somewhere. To get this keyboard out, very gently as you can see it's moving here a little bit but there is a small tab that's around a little nipple right here and you have to take a flat something flat and get up underneath the tab pry underneath so that tab will slip out try again okay that one's out then we have two tabs on this side two very small black tabs so that will allow this side to come up now, and then we'll pull it back this way to get it under, from underneath these two tabs here, but you also have to be aware that there's another nipple down here that this keyboard is looped over. They give you room to play, so it looks like it's kind of taped into here, so I, mean, I don't know what the deal is with the tape. of those days, right? There's your tape. The tape off. Okay. All right. And there you go. Keyboard is out. We just have to pop the keyboard out of this little placeholder here, I think. So these weren't holding this uh, bracket, this keyboard bracket down at all. These two black screws here. Those were just holding the keyboard onto the bracket. So you remove that screw there. Keyboard can come right out. Be careful of your ribbon cables. And there's your keyboard. So, wow. A lot of work just to remove the keyboard. So with our new keyboard here, so we just got to be sure that uh, this ribbon cable and this ribbon cable slide into these 
these through these grooves here. There we go. There's that. And we'll, so we've got that like so. So we'll go ahead and secure the keyboard into place. That's looks like I have two black screws here. That's why I have it labeled black. We'll, Just install our keyboard back how it was. Right. Remember that tab there. I have to go under that tab. Pull these pieces of tape up. Pretty much lays back down in there like that. Whoa! That did pretty good. All right. Get our keyboard screws back in. Got the screws put into the keyboard, and then we'll just put these pieces of tape back to how they were. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really test this keyboard until uh, it's almost fully assembled, but it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead now and press down these hinges. So we'll press this down. Oh. Go. Okay, and I made a note here that we do have uh, one different screw. You see there, we got this guy here, this uh, little short black one. And I have a note here with an arrow pointing so we know exactly where that screw goes. Put that screw into here. This one here. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. There's that hinge. Okay, we've got this hinge here done. We can proceed with the motherboard. I think we can. Put that speaker into place. Right. Here's where you move this one. That's in. There you go. I think that just stays. It looks like this is correct. Where the board's in. Just be sure that your cables, your ribbon cables are flipped up in the proper place. So now we can probably go with our motherboard screws. So I see we got a arrow pointing to this guy. So we'll go ahead and put one there. And we have an arrow here, right next to this speaker here. And then we have another arrow here that I see. So we'll get that in. So I've got one more and I don't see any more arrows. I just reviewed my recording to be sure I had the right placements of these motherboard screws and there are. So there's an arrow here, there's an arrow here, and there's an arrow here that's usually hiding under that. But there's no arrow up here, but this is where the other screw goes. It could have gone either here or here, but it's been several days later I'm putting this back together. So that's why having uh, footage to look back on helps greatly in these situations. Let's go ahead and put in my power jack, shall we? That's going to go here. No, let's go ahead. 
go ahead and put in our antenna cables here and get that routed correctly and I think that we have all of our cables routed here on the side I think we can go ahead and just close down the hinge on this side Mm -hmm. It kind of locks our power jack into place. So now that we got our jack into place with our cables ran properly, put our two hinge screws in now. What we do here, now that our hinge is secure, let's go ahead and put the fan into place. That's always going to be important. I have blown out and cleaned out these fins and the air duct here. So let's get this fan back into place here. So what I want to do is I want to get to the point where I can test this keyboard. Alright, we'll snap down our video cable here. I think this is our power button, so that's why I want to get it back in here. This ribbon cable here. Because we want to kind of crack this open and test this keyboard. I guess that's it. Alright, we should probably go ahead and actually plug in this keyboard. Mouse pad. Okay, in there. Alright, and this is probably for the backlight. I guess that's it. So the guy down here, he goes. That's what we're I guess here's our moment of truth. We're going to test this at this point. We got our fan hooked up here. We got our keyboard plugged in. Power jacks in. Hinges are secure. Motherboard is secure. Our hard drive's not plugged in, but that's okay. So yeah, let's see if we can go ahead and give this a little test. At least a stick of RAM so we can get a post. Plug it in again. Press the power button, and we have post. Yes, sir, it's working. All right, let me do a few things. There's a speaker that goes right here. Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go ahead and get our screws put back. Let's go ahead and get our little daughter board. So we got the daughter board in and now this little spring latch for the hinge has to come back off guys. Give the hinge a little bit of a workout today. How about that? Here we go. Go back down like this. Right. And then we can plug in our little speaker here while we're at it. There we go. Our little card reader. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I'll go like this. Like so. One. Ribbon cable here. And a ribbon cable here. Okay, all right, we got another, all right, battery. Our battery goes back into place. All right, let's go ahead and just plug in our hard drive. Yeah, let's plug it in first. Doink. short one I believe 
should be. Yeah. Okay, there's the battery. And we're ready to uh, test fire this guy completely. So let's give it a try. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stand it up on its end. Okay. And we have, should have now. Yep. All right. So basically now we're just going to get our uh, back cover back on here. Okay, guys, got all the screws right back into this here. Everything is looking good. Let's crack it open. Keyboard looks good here. So, until next time, everyone, see you soon.